try it sometime. I did. Whatever we do. Just so everyone knows, it's April 25th is the perfect date. Hope he was right. We don't know how he knows that. Hey, Take welcome to back. Let's go. <laughs> Take you to trivia. When it comes to easy cooking, literally nothing beats a slow cooker recipe. Especially at this time of the year. And the cooking mom, Amy Hanthon, has a great recipe that's not only healthier, but also great for Super Bowl Sunday as well. Here's Amy. Hey everybody, I have a really fun, delicious new slow cooker recipe I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I love my slow cooker, especially in the winter. It just makes life so much easier. You come home after a long day, the house smells amazing and dinner is done. But I think we do a lot of the same things in the slow cooker, so sometimes it's fun to change things up, get out of that recipe rut and do something new. And I love this recipe because it's got a lot of flavor and it's healthy. So it's a healthy recipe for the new year um, and it's something different. It's kid friendly and it comes together in minutes. It's my slow cooker honey lime chicken and it is to die for. Uh, perfect for the big game, by the way, or game day party. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with a couple of pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. You could also use the boneless, uh, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm just gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil uh, just to, you know, help these are very lean and the olive oil will help just uh, give it a little bit of fat. It's really important when you're doing slow cooking to have a lot of great flavor. This is gonna cook low and slow in this wonderful braising liquid and that makes all the difference in slow cooking recipes. Uh, in, in old school, we just dump a little water in there and uh, the recipes were, were okay, but these days we're demanding a little bit more. We're all becoming foodie. So it's really important to have a lot of great flavor in your braising liquid. So just dump your chicken breast that are coated with some olive oil into your slow cooker. And then we're really gonna season these up and give them some great Southwestern flavor. So I've got some cumin, I've got some chili powder, I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of paprika. If you like a little kick, you could do a little bit of cayenne or chipotle powder would be really good. You notice there's a generous amount of seasoning. Again, that's the other thing that's gonna give these chicken breasts because we're not taking the time to brown them. We're just throwing them in here raw, some great flavor. So just coat up these chicken breasts really well. This is one of my new favorite recipes. It's so, so good. So then you're gonna take one cup of a green salsa or even green enchilada sauce. I really like using the green rather than the red. I think it works great for this flavor, but if all you have is just the traditional red salsa, that will work too. Fresh lime juice, use fresh for this recipe if you can, and then some honey. So um, the honey adds just a tad of sweetness. So then the lid goes on, you turn this on low, and let it cook low and slow for uh, about four to five hours. A lot of the new slow cookers have these settings so you can kind of set it and forget it. So uh, chicken is one of those things that you don't really need it to cook eight to 10 hours. So if you have one of these slow cookers that you can just set it and forget it, set it to like four or five hours, it'll stop the cooking, but keep it nice and warm when you get home. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this right now, it smells so good. So at this point, uh, the chicken is, is tender as all get out and there's this great sauce from the honey and the lime and the salsa. And you just get in there and shred it up. It's just fork tender like this. This is a great make ahead. You could make it the night, the day before your, your game day party and then just put out a bunch of uh, fixins. And there's lots of ways you can do this. So I love to serve these uh, in tortillas. So just some, um, flour or corn tortillas, put those out, warm them up a little bit. You can warm them in the oven. Uh, but if you're watching your carbs, this is great. You could make a chicken burrito bowls. You could throw this um, over nachos. If you're being a little naughty, you could throw it over like a Southwest um, Tex-Mex salad. The chicken is to die for. Sometimes I'll double the recipe and it also um, freezes really well. And then you serve us with your, your favorite fixins. You can squeeze a little fresh lime over the top. Um, we're keeping it a little healthy for the new year. so. I've got some pico de gallo, um, some, some extra cilantro. Uh, you could do a little bit of sour cream. So there we go. It, it's healthy, it's delicious, something different for your slow cooker. I think the whole family will dive right in and really dig it. And you can get this recipe on my website, thecookingmom.com. Enjoy.